From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings, LA, with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. In tonight's recording, we go over the breaking news of getting that recon done, the Build Back Better Act, and the nuances of progressive versus moderate Democrat. They're unfolding by the minute, by the hour today. I have the latest details direct from Santa Monica, California. But the great news is that in addition to that MSC that will be added on the Senate side, there's a way to get out a check sooner than later. And it does not involve moderate versus progressive. It does not revolve a recon. And it involves something we've seen in 2020 coming back on tonight's recording. We'll go over why it's incredible and why the President of the United States could add additional sums of money on top of that by executive action and by executive guidance. It's new. It's tonight. And it's only on a big evening's LA direct from Santa Monica, California. We're going to go over that incredible recon that will pass at the House of Representatives, go to the Senate, and pass in the Senate in the next few days. And that recon will give you lots of checks. On top of the Senate changes, that will add more on top of the existing $15,000 and third stimulus of $45,000 repeated under four stimulus. But no time and place to wait for that. In the future, you can get third stimulus today. And in this recording, I'll show you how to get thousands of dollars by the end of this week. Wow. We'll turn to student loan debt forgiveness and the latest details on that. Plus, what's going on with this stimulus? And can that go by executive decree? Those incredible details and the incredible Senate changes to this recon. Boy, we got a big broadcast across the board. But also tonight, I'll go over something that I tipped you off to on afternoons. I was expecting some new data on where the U.S. economy is going. Are we growing or are we retracting? Are we growing or are we getting smarter? You're going to see the incredible data that came in just minutes ago. It's brand new. It's happened in the last half hour. And it's only on Evenings LA. And the excitement starts right here as Evenings LA gets underway. And here we go. The recon passed the House of Representatives now in the Senate. And the incredible money across this incredible recon will grow by the minute, by the hour, because the Senate just vowed to add additional checks to this incredible recon. In tonight's recording, we go over all those incredible checks and how we're heading to the finish line with lots of money you haven't seen before. And the surf is up, and so is the stimulus. We're going to go over the incredible checks in this incredible recon and how they will grow with the Senate changes across the board it's deliciousness and it's only tonight on evenings la we're going to go over that cola raise and how that cola raise could potentially go by executive decree much about what we're talking about in tonight's recording third stimulus having at least fifteen thousand dollars of checks but could more checks go on top of that there are that's third stimulus repeating in there about forty five thousand dollars and what about the student loan debt forgiveness? Wow, we got all those incredible details and more in tonight's recording. So much across the board, plus the latest data about what Omicron has done to this economy. And is the economy growing or retracting? It's brand new economic data that came in minutes ago. I signaled a teaser on this on Afternoons LA. I didn't have the data then. I have it tonight. And guess what? It's not particularly good. And I'm going to go over with you where the U.S. growth rate or lack of growth rate is expected by the end of the month. Oh, boy, it's brand new, and it's tonight. It's only on Evenings L.A., and with that, I want you part of this incredible family. So go into this video right now and subscribe. You're watching L.A., the number three most watched financial news channel in America. With all the breaking details, including economic growth or lack of it in the economy, Breaking just minutes ago, it's all tonight in this recording. Like the video, two, three thousand likes, and consider becoming a member so you get the thousands of dollars as viewers have gotten upwards of $50 billion of money from this channel in the last year and a half. 
Let's turn to this incredible recon. And the big money in this recon, we're going to go over each of these incredible checks that amount to so much money. There's three clusters and three add-ons, and they collectively pay you out a lot of money. At least $15,000 to start, but upwards of $60,000 across the board. Three add-ons and three clusters. We're going to go over each of them, starting right now with the first cluster. Here we go. Hazard pay got in there for my essential workers across the board, earning income tax credit. $4,000 of elder care, $4,000 of care for young children. They got in there the Pell Grant. They also got in there the CTC, $3,600. They got in there the, the money to repair the home if you live in a low income community. The $12,500 for the purchase of new electric vehicle as well. And there is a lot of deliciousness in just that first cluster, but you understand how it works. There is three clusters and three add-ons of checks in this incredible recon. So those add-on checks have a lot of money, and how much money is it? Well, the first add-on is perhaps one of the most popular add-ons in the viewership of this channel. And it is money to buy your first home, upwards of 25000 That's what Maxine Waters got in there. She's the illustrious legislator from Southern California. She got that incredible money in that recon, and that is money to buy your first home. Let's go to cluster number two. They got in there, home repairs and paid leave. Wow. Now, home repairs this time around is to weatherize your home. Incredible money. But what is the paid leave? It is money. If you're sick or a family member is sick and have to stay home from work, it's a lot of money. And how much is it? It is $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. If you make $35,000 or more per year, it's $400 a week. And if you make $15,000 or more per year, it is $400 a week. How many weeks? Four to six weeks per year. So yes, this is $46,000 a year. Now, if you don't work, but your son or daughter does work, then they're going to get the check if they have to take off from the doctor's office to take, take you off from work to take you to the doctor's office anytime this week. There you go. That is the incredible second add-on of checks. Now, a second cluster of checks. Now, let's go to the second add-on of checks. It comes from the incredible Bob Casey. Bob Casey got this provision in there, and what is it? It is money for free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Wow, $250 billion it got in there. And again, that's for money for seniors and people on disabilities. Let's go to the third cluster of checks. Here we go. Seniors and free internet. Free internet in this third cluster. Also, money for farmers, money for independent contractors. Then they got in there. Free school meals for all checks. And then the benefits for the seniors. Two provisions in the House. Three coming on the Senate. On the House side, they got the Medicaid gap fix and the hearing aid. But the Senate just vowed to add three other provisions. And they are dental, vision, and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare which is par for the course of what we're talking about when we look at that third add-on of checks. You know what it is. If you're in the live chat right now, write the three letters. I think you know what they are. That would be added on the Senate side. And those three letters, of course, are the incredible MSC. MSC, what is it? Who is it? What do you get it? How do you get it? How much is it? And how does it work? Let's go over all the incredible details of it starting right now. MSC, what is it? First of all, it is a program where checks are sent out from IRS on a monthly basis. A monthly IRS stimulus check. It differentiates itself from the rest of the Build Back Better Act that has many checks in there, multiple checks. This differentiates it across the board. So who gets it? The eligibility is the same as third stimulus, says those senators to tens of thousands of viewers of this channel. Single individuals, 75000 or less annual income, you get it. Married couple, 150000 or less, double it, you get it as well. Family of four, you get it, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, rural benefits, you get it as well. Adult dependents also get it. And it's not income. It's not taxable. There you go. It's sent out from IRS, so it's not dependent upon anything from a state level. And it will be offered nationwide. So then who gets it? How much is it? The legislators represent it's $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months. Wow, it's incredible. Finally, the big question is how, where? We're talking about the recon, the Build Back Better Act. And the Build Back Better Act passed in the House in the month of November, now in the Senate. And the provisions to be added in there are a lot. But what about MSC? So let me explain where that is. 
and how something else gives us a great leeway to get it in there. And that something else is heating up right now. So the Build Back Better Act body of legislation, a recon, passed in the House of Representatives back in the month of November, now in the Senate, would go to a Senate subcommittee first for those modifications, and then when done, goes to a Senate floor vote for a bill vote. Then it goes to a two-day voterama. That event has not happened. Sanders, Warren, Wine, and Schumer, all those incredible people say they have a lot of provisions to add to this recon in addition to an MSC, which they also want to put in there. But that event has not happened just yet. So, is there an opportunity to get a check or extra moolah in your hands before the Build Back Better Act and not to somehow annihilate or destroy the Build Back Better Act, but just get you more money out the door? There is. In fact, there's multiple opportunities. In this recording tonight, you're going to see how there's actually three opportunities across the board. They are CR for stimulus. They are uh, any version of CR for stimulus, of course, which is, a, which is a second version of number one. And then reallocating existing funds for purposes of a stimulus relief to you. And finally, changing eligibility existing programs so that you can get more money out the door. Wow, that's a lot. We're going to go over each of them, starting first with CR for Stimulus. CR for Stimulus is the concept of getting a stimulus check, not an MSE, but a stimulus check, into another body of legislation at issue, a continuing resolution. Let's look back to 2020 to understand how this happened. In 2020, we were looking at the tail end of the first stimulus package. And suddenly we heard about the second stimulus package, thousands of pages in length, and written by the Democrats. The negotiations started in spring of 2020, and they continued with Steve Mnuchin on behalf of the Republicans and Nancy Pelosi on behalf of the Democrats. The negotiations continued day in, day out. And by spring, no deal. Summer, no deal. Then by fall, still no deal. And finally by winter, still no deal. So with winter upon us and a second stimulus package in thousands of pages of length, no deal, I said, we got to have something else happening. And the reason at issue that I took homage with what was going on was there was no inherent deadline. There was no inherent deadline. So I looked at the situation. And I thought to myself, what if we had the ability to put a stimulus check into something else that has a deadline, then they couldn't roll this over indefinitely. I looked and I found it. Contained resolution. What is a contained resolution? It is a word expression, and there's a lot of different versions of to the same name, that refers to the budget bill. The federal government must approve a budget every few months for its operations. The federal parks, the national landmarks, the federal buildings all have to have that funding approved, and they do it every few months. The bill is generally called a continuing resolution. The situation with it is nearly a hard, fast deadline. They may extend a few days, maybe a week, but not several months because the federal government would default. So it's also done by bipartisan support. Even in the face of the pandemic, it's done by bipartisan support. What a logical place to put a stimulus check. Bipartisan support has a deadline, will not roll over, just slide it right in there. Well, to prepare, I made a lot of research, I did a lot of research, and I also prepared what the Purple Power viewership would say and what critics would say as well. To go on air, before I did, I looked at the situation and then I delivered the message on air to the Purple Power, the viewership of this channel, and I said, I am not happy with how this second stimulus package negotiation is gone. 11 months, no deal. Why not put a check somewhere else? Put it into this thing called the continuing resolution. It's a deadline in December 2020, I told viewers at the time. Put a stimulus check in there and they can't miss the deadline. If it stays in there, the provision, and the bill will become a law and the check will go out. What a simple idea. And immediately the naysayers were ready. They said, doesn't belong in there. Well, I was ready for the naysayers as well. Throughout this pandemic, in fact, throughout time, Congress has traditionally, traditionally passed legislation where it has money in there that doesn't belong. And during the pandemic, they were par for the course of the situation. They had a COVID relief bill early in the pandemic where there was money given for foreign military governments. There was a pandemic COVID relief bill that gave money to build a new federal building. There was a pandemic COVID relief bill that was to give money to the Department of Copyrights. I said they often don't have monies in there that make sense or consistent with the plan or the image of the bill. 
why not this time do the same thing but send it to the American people? So we pushed, you pushed, with the idea created by me and this recordings on this channel. And we woke up one morning and they said they're putting stimulus in the continuing resolution. We looked and it was the wrong stimulus. It was unemployment stimulus. So we pushed back again and said, put a stimulus check in there. And finally, we woke up one morning and a $600 stimulus check was in the continuing resolution budget bill of December 2020. It became law and a check went out to the American people in December and January of that year. Now, ironically, the second stimulus package never became a law, never was passed, and there never was an actual second stimulus check in that second stimulus package because it never became a law. So a week ago, I said on camera, do you want to bring it back? Do you want to bring back CR for stimulus 2022? And viewers said yes. The reason was very simple. One, it's been, again, 11 months of negotiations, no deal. Number two, it's again been two groups of people. It's again, number three, it's a behemoth. The fourth stimulus recon, the Build Back Better Act, is thousands of pages of length. The situation is mirroring 2020. This time around, it's February 2022 with another budget bill that has a deadline. But why tonight does this signal really more reason to get CR for stimulus done than the Build Back Better Act at the moment? Why? And are there one Two opportun other opportunities for the president to send out money? There are. It's coming up in the second half of this video. Plus, we'll analyze what other opportunities are and aren't out there. We have new economic data that came in. I told you just minutes before I come in on air tonight. I teased it on Afternoons LA. I said, I'm concerned the economy may not be growing based upon inflation, Russia, Omicron, and interest rate spikes coming around the corner. Well, I have the latest economic data and a new report from Bank of America on what it thinks is going to happen with the Force Summers Recon. Yeah, you heard me right. B of A has an opinion about the Force Summers Recon. We'll go over that. It's all coming up in the second half of this video. Plus, I had to get thousands of dollars tonight. It's evenings out late, and I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on Evening's LA. As the recon, the Bill Back Better Act has $15,000 of checks. Could more checks be added, including that MFC? The third stimulus is repeated in that big, incredible money. But will there be other sums of money as well? I have the latest details tonight across the board. The audio will clear up shortly as well. Then, student loan debt forgiveness will lay his details on that, what you need to know, plus what's going on with this stimulus. Those details are more as a big evening's LA heats up. I'm excited you're here, and with that, I want you to go out into this video right now and subscribe. Be part of the number three most watched financial news channel in America. That's LA Light. And advocates of senators Casey Coons, Warren, Wine, and Sanders, and Schumer. I want you part of this incredible family by advocating for the incredible money you need in this recon, but also 
subscribe to this channel. Go right on this video as well and subscribe. I want you part of this incredible family by liking this video and also becoming a member. The membership link is under the video and also become an LA member. The membership newsletter goes out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. and 6 a.m. time via the YouTube alert system and the LA Late Alert System. The audio will clear up just in a second as well. And with that, we go into a lot of breaking news tonight across the board. There's so much happening, and I want you to understand we are getting to the finish line. So with that, let's go over everything you need to know tonight on this big recording across the board. When you look at the situation of CR for stimulus, we have thought that CR for stimulus makes sense because there is a lot of money in that recon with a lot of pages and a lot of negotiations. So why not do something simple and get a check out? Well, in the last few days, we've seen the progressives really act a little bit unusual. <laughs> That's a polite way to say it. Unusual. Grandma Jalapal yesterday, the day before Bernie Sanders, the day before that, and the, and the week before that, the president, chief of staff, all really acting unusual and looking like they may not get the week on done as quickly as we thought. That's why CR for stimulus makes a lot more sense. Why? Because CR for stimulus is a way to get money out sooner rather than later with using an existing body of legislation that has to get done and has an inherent deadline. That's an issue. And that's how it works across the board. Now, what about else? What else is, can the President of the United States get out? Let's go over those details right now. Well, when we look at that incredible recon, the issue at hand is that the President has other opportunities, and those other opportunities are really a cluster of great choices. First, the President of the United States can reallocate money from existing programs to you, and that reallocation of money from existing programs to you is really quite incredible. What's an issue? The President of the United States has the authority under the Constitution to take existing programs that have ended, and the funds are still sitting there, and reallocate that money as stimulus to you. Second, the president can give guidelines to existing agencies to change, can give guidance to existing agencies to change their guidelines so you can get more money as well out the door. That's also really interesting. And then finally, the president can use those opportunities to get funds out in a way that is quicker and faster by not replacing the provisions we've been wondering about across the board. Those details and more are all incredibly interesting. The audio will hopefully clear up in just a second. So now, let's go over each of those details one at a time, starting right now. First, what's an issue? The president has a lot of opportunities, and one of the best opportunities is changing guidelines for existing programs so that you get more money out the door, across the door. The more money out from those programs starts with a very simple concept of doing to stimulus by executive guidance, not executive order, but guidance. This stimulus is provisions at heart start with the raising your benefits up. So how do you raise your benefits up? You use a new benchmark. What would be the new benchmark inflation? Is that what this almost looks to do? It does. What did the president do today? Today? Yeah. The president could come in right today and tell us, talk up, pick up the phone and call the Social Security Administration and say, I want to give you guidance and I want you to change your benchmark from COLA to inflation. If he did that, it would result in a 3% increase of your benefits overnight. Because guess what? Your COLA benefits benchmark is 5.9%. Your current inflation rate is about 8%. That would be an instant savings out the door. It does not require an act of Congress. It does not require the president to do anything. And would happen right away. Now, the other parts of this stimulus cannot be done by executive, or by executive decree because those are actually bodies of law. The president cannot remove the asset cap, the income cap, or the marriage penalty at all. More about that in a second. But here is a little bit about the community, more about the community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits. 
And can you get more money than that? You can. Let's go back over the incredible sums of money the president could do by switching you out from the incredible relief of fourth stimulus, uh, fifth stimulus, and doing it by simply pick up the phone. The president can call the Social Security Administration and say, you know what? I want you to give new guidance, and I want you to have that guidance as oh, no longer COLA, but now a new benchmark of inflation. That benchmark of inflation works it up by bringing you up 3% more than where you currently are across the board. Next, the president has the authority to really repurpose existing funds of money and get those funds of money out across the board in a way that you've never seen before.